Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Lacole Social Sessions tonight. We are in Sand and Sequoias, a nice 20 kilometre loop in the world of Watopia on Zwift. We already have quite a few of us lined up. It's been a brilliant bank, week, bank holiday weekend here in the UK, although it's now chucking it down and it's mega stormy outside. However, we're indoors, we're nice and dry, going to get warmed up, go for a nice steady spin. Tonight's ride is all about keeping the group together, having a bit of a social catch up as we have quite a few regulars joining us every single week now, which is actually really nice. and makes it really, really easy to get conversation going. Unlike those first few weeks when no one really knew what to expect or what to do. Now it's all about having a chat, asking a few questions on YouTube. You can have them answered real time and we'll get going. Right, we're gonna go say hello to everyone over in the world of Zwift. The easiest way to do that right now is to click the button on the companion app. Hello everyone. If you are watching on YouTube, I would love to see your comments because it's just nice. That's what YouTube is all about. That's the whole idea of the live YouTube feed is to be able to have that direct feedback, that instant interaction. It's not sunny here, Mickle. Absolutely not sunny here. I'd love to show you what it looks like. Outside. It's a nice little loop, this one. So we have a nice gentle rollout. It's fairly easy. Seems really quite bizarre describing a virtual course in real life, but it is just like riding in real life, except it is virtual. So we'll roll out nice and gently, and then around about 10 kilometers into the ride, there's a two kilometer climb, which has a gradient of just over 2%. And it's, it's not an average, it's up and down, so it's not a consistent climb. It's quite nice, actually. Um, you notice that, in fact, it's the sort of climb that more riders get up than you expect, as in they hang onto the group longer than you might expect. Probably because it's not as persistent gradient-wise as it can be. Therefore, different energy systems help. Right, let's set the tone for the ride. Nice and steady. Today. As ever, we have two minutes to go, so we need to get ready. As ever, I won't exceed two watts per kilo. Oh no. Everyone seems happy to be indoors, that's for sure. It's definitely, definitely not beautiful outside. <laughs> Mike is stirring things with the weather. Tornados in Atlanta. Jeremy's the first one. From there. I need to learn to type faster. Atlanta. Let's sound it out like I'm in primary school. Right, it's been a busy weekend. I am actually quite tired. I'm gonna pop my fan on in just a second. 60 seconds to go. Let's uh, set the tone for how hard we should be going. So many messages, right. Kelly Steeps is back. It's been a while since we've seen Kelly. I like it when you see faces again. Carlo, it's nice to see you back as well. I like having my regulars. John's back. Stephen's back. This feels like the ultimate social already. Out jam. Right, we're off. Right, so I will not be exceeding. playlist in the YouTube description should you prefer to listen to that it has some rather bizarre music choices and selections look at this I'm straight out the back already always the case should I blast it to the front for a change 
crash like it. Oh no! Kelly's injured his hand on the mountain bike, which is why I uh, said that. Right, let's check in with John and Stephen. They ride together quite frequently in real life and on Zwift. Oh, John's been off the bike all week. There you go. So we know that his legs are going to be feeling it later. Kai, how are you doing? How's your weekend been? We've had a holiday weekend and it's been good. And I've adjusted my cleats today and they feel better. Cooling down after the crit race. How was the crit race? And which circuit was it? Which race was it? Tell me, tell me everything there is to know. I'm still quite scared about racing on Zwift. for a big weekend ride either in real life and wants to tell us about it let's find out what comes back from that no, I feel better than I was expecting to which is nice was a good surprise. Mark Lockout has a key, potentially. Right, cadence up, heart rate down, power down. Kelly's planning a massive 250 mile weekend. 16 kilometer, eight laps of Crit City. Crit City is my favorite circuit. It's like doing, it's like doing a real life bike race. How did the race go, Carlo? And how often do you do them? Good question, Mark. Pressing G gets rid of the graph on a tablet. Susie's back. how to help Mark. Oh, congratulations. That's not luck, Carlo. I, that's winning. That's not luck at all. Is that the icon, Mark? If on the table. Kelly's rides. Kelly, your plans for that ride sound. Nice mark. I've 
learn something new there. That's not luck at all, Carlo. Congratulations. Sorry, I might have repeated myself there a little bit, but that's really cool. Maybe you'll start winning more. 21 minutes, 4.2 watts peculiar average, that's hard. I can see where you've come here for a steadier wind down, which reminds me, talking of steady, start we do have a sweeper she will be riding at around about 1.2 watts per kilo just don't make her angry because she packs a ferocious sprint towards the finish Tell me more about the race, Carlo. Did you win in the bunch sprint? Did you win solo? Was it a small group? I want to know more. Because I'm gonna to have to live my Zwift racing through you because it's too different. Oh, you're glued to the sweeper. Nice, how is, is she doing a good job? Right, just 18 kilometers to go. Here she is. Hope you're well for a bit. Had a good weekend. There you go. That's Micah's in <laughs> Micah's comment. She is a good pacer. She is a good pacer. She's uh she's quite well practiced at this now. She knows exactly what sort of tempo to maintain. We've run out of caps. So, the giveaway will now be Never say never, John. I'll let you know the rules for today's giveaway later. Bunch of 18, one at the sprint. Carla, that's really, really cool. So, um... Zwift sprinting. Do you go early? Do you go late? I'm using you for tactical knowledge now because I have no idea. Definitely not giving a lap we a bike away, Stephen. <laughs> Mike is checking in on you, Carlo. You'd have to tell her about your race, otherwise she won't understand.
We had some good suggestions last week, actually. item that needs to be the correct size. I'll make sure they're the right size for you. Right, here we go. Follow a good lead out, try to spin 250 meters to the line. Play power up. Ah, see I've never done that. I've never thought to... I think the last time I did some real Zwift racing, I had a group of people trying to assist me, trying to teach me, trying to use the keyboard for me because I was trying so hard. It was good. It was good fun. Graham, how are you doing? Sorry, I did see your comment pop up then. How are you? How was your weekend? I'm guessing since you're over school age, you've probably quite enjoyed the Monday off school. Actually, I've quite enjoyed the Monday off being of a non-school age. I'm going to pay attention more to... Look, I've got the helmet on my screen there now. I could use that now, couldn't I? Oh, toughest climb in Cornwall. That's a good question. Toughest climb in Cornwall. Possibly Rocky Lane, St. Agnes, or, no, I need to think of the name of the woods. There's one near Hustins. David, well David, obviously we are very biased here on Le Col Ride. Where is the rest? I wish I could take any credit for the Yoyo Museo collection. It's stunning. Kai, can't do a thousand watts. So without the power, okay. But you could do a longer sprint, I suppose, couldn't you, Carlo? But that's, you've proven that you can win in a sprint now, so that's all that matters. Also worth a visit. Much tougher in Devon. We just have small climbs here where we uh, are based. Oh yeah, that's a good question. to that information Stephen. Uh, enjoy Monday off. Saturday went well. Trail riding. Did a private 20 kilometer TT. That's cool. That's good going, Graham. 
I like things like that. Private TTs. I spent a lot of time doing that when I'm training as well, just as it's a, it's a good boost. Graham, I'm very pleased to hear that. Oh no, Carly, you've lost the sweeper's wheel. What, she, has she attacked you, Carly? Sorry, I was distracted then for a second. Is she, um, is she getting a little bit racy about there? She's had an easy weekend of not too many rides. She said she's gonna come to the Zwift ride on Monday night and take out all of her aggression. I'm joking, I don't think she said that. Stephen. Oh, where's my upside down smile? There we go. I'm well out the back here, which I quite like, I don't mind. Change gear. The um the mountain biking, I just it's just so nice to be away from cars, it's so quiet and it's you can completely switch off, which I find quite enjoyable compared to riding on the road. Especially this time of year, it gets busy where we live. There we go, Stephen's an IT manager. If you have any IT questions right now, please ask Stephen. Hello, I will see you on Wednesday night. Thank you for joining us and congratulations again. Wednesday's night session is, is sort of a lead out and sprint session actually, which is really good for Zwift racing. I think anyway. I might have to screenshot their replies. You're right, uh, Mike has done a lot of indoor rides and a few rides on her own on the road bike. The reason is, I've been riding my mountain bike a lot and I've been training quite hard on the mountain bike and doing it at weird times of day. It just hasn't quite worked out for us to ride together again. So maybe, maybe this week, maybe there should be a an update. Because she's getting fit, her FTP keeps on increasing. So that e-bike is definitely working, which is cool. 
<laughs> Top IT advice. Says that no one's a fan of a printer. Oh, look, here we go. Prop up uphill. <laughs> Printers are the most evil contraption ever conceived by man. Somebody apparently is uh, blasting out some big watts. Sound like she might have actually fallen off her bike. We all have an under reading parameter. There we go, big ring. Whoa. So it's a running joke, Eduardo. My scales overread my power meter underreads.
Is that alright smashing it? Never trust wristwatch heart rate. You're absolutely right. I said that actually recently. Joshua, hello, welcome. It's been a while, or at least it's been a weekend. Graham's drop, uh, David has dropped back for us a lot. Nice. Yeah, so it's a relatively fast run in from here. It's quite a good circuit. How's your weekend, Joshua? Everyone else has commented already. I'm good. I've been, it's been very, very busy, which is nice. I've just done five kilometers, apparently, so that's even better. Even though the screen says 13 and a half. Coach wants that little bit more. Not on a Monday. Tell me about your weekend, Joshua. I spent mine, there we go. You were typing it, sorry. New Forest Chain Gang, made the split, lasted 20 minutes, putting tons of Matt Danny, and Red Walters, that's cool. Red's a nice guy, isn't he? Strong, fast, and incredibly talented when it comes to uh, bizarre, I don't know how you describe it, Photoshop? It's not really Photoshop, is it, when it's a video? But just um, animated things that aren't real. Really clever, really cool. My legs are too tired to sprint. Who wants to know? There we go, let's get that in. Rapid. Who's going well in your group? Who's the strongest, do you think? I used to ride in the New Forest when I was younger, twice a year, which sounds bizarre. Uh, there used to be a really cool camp at Cowshot at the indoor track, and we would spend every weekend the clocks change. So in the spring and in the autumn, there'd be a chance to go there, ride around on the track, and then ride outside on the road, do some skills-based stuff in the car park there. Everybody wants to know about the giveaway. Georgia raised in the end 716 pounds, which is incredible with that ride.
you all deserve. Could be in a roast right now. Oh, yeah. Not a huge fan of eating loads of roasts, but yeah, it would be nice. Eighth person up the climb. That is random. But very cool. Jeremy Van Diesel. Give us a prize to the eighth person up the climb. How on earth do you race to be the eighth? That is fast. Right. Today's giveaway. Today's giveaway to win a surprise and cold prize. After. The bottles don't come full, they come empty. Stephen. <laughs> John was lying about the Wednesdays. Drop a comment in the activity. Spell that correctly. I'm going to be quiet here for two minutes whilst I try and type this one out. Since we've only got seven k's to go, I don't know how this circuit goes so fast. We have about, what, 12 minutes remaining roughly? The upper end of the scale. still rolling. I have not stopped. If it looks like I've stopped, there's a problem. Joshua Graham, you can also enter the competition. I'll tell you the rules as well. Actually, for you, uh, the best way to enter the competition is to email Domestique, if I type that for you. Domestique at lecom.cc. There you go. That email's there. You can, uh, you can contact that email following the same rules as everyone else, if you would like to win a surprise Lacole prize. Right, today's giveaway. To win a surprise Lacole prize, after my workout has uploaded, drop a comment in the activity on my feed with an item you feel would be a fair giveaway. I'll select a winner at random, contact you in the app. There we go. One more time. I used to make my own flapjack, Joshua, Graham, sorry. Um, I used to make a flapjack with quite a lot of butter and sugar, just because it tastes nice. I used to use that for long rides predominantly. When you, so imagine you're going for a ride longer than two and a half, three hours. That's a good time to make food. Um, and I would do that because I liked different flavors. So I try not to make it too sweet. Yes, there's a lot of sugar in there, but there's a lot of other stuff as well. So I used to put coffee in the flapjack, that was nice. So a little, little bit of coli, uh, little bit of coffee, seeds, um, peanut butter, so you get like a real salty but sweet taste at the same time. Honey instead of syrup. Steve is asking if I'm on the kicker bike. I don't know if Stephen's watching the video. I know that some people are. It's silky smooth. <laughs> John and Stephen. 
So yeah, homemade flapjack. I'll try and create a recipe in actually, and I'll drop it in one of these videos because I used to love doing that. And it was cheap, it lasts for ages. You just make loads, big, you know, the large oats instead of the small ones. Arms on this circuit are good because it's like a it's like a roller coaster. Wednesday workouts coming up. I love brownies, Graham. Actually, thinking about it now. Thinking about it now, hungry at quarter to seven in the evening in the UK, I definitely fancy a brownie. Something we used to make loads was rice cakes as well. Not personally, but cycling teams. And they can be sweet, they can be savoury. Sometimes having savoury food on the bike is quite nice. Mike has got a bit of a race on the hands. Takes a little time. Sorry for the silence. Takes a little time for my brain to think. Right, is it weird? Not a fan of rice cakes, big fan of oats and fabjack. Not weird at all, we all have our things, don't we? <laughs> I think the rice cakes, you know, the pre-bought ones, they're very different to the sort of rice cakes that I'm suggesting. So the rice cakes that I'm thinking about are, they're soft rice, it's cooked rice, it's fresh. And what I was gonna tell you about rice cakes, you can make them savory, you can make them sweet as well.
Mike is making excuses already. Don't let it fool you. She's from my she's perfect, there you go. She's not making 1100 watt sprints, I promise you that much. I think her most that we've ever had a, on a power meter was around the 700 something, so it's powerful enough. go flies by it's not bad at all certainly for someone that hasn't raced for a little while 3k ahead of my kid today last week she was a little bit closer maybe she, maybe her fitness isn't progressing as much as she thinks That's good going, Graham, to get that many on an indoor trainer. It's a lot easier to get more watts outside, actually, to hit higher numbers. Sounds like a big race is about to happen. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with a thousand watts when you're light, Graham. Nothing at all. It's almost the same amount of power as most scooters have. Little tiny scooters. Although they can sustain that for a longer period of time. Power to weight, sorry. It's a big difference there, isn't there? Kelly has been eyeing this up all day. By the sounds of it, just to take out a few people on the run into the line. We have 100 meters to go, look at that. I 
don't think that's a PB today. I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer. I'm going to ride here, I think, until Micah finishes. I think it feels like the right thing to do today. <laughs> Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. In my autocorrect, it comes, or auto type, it comes over with. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your life. Can you imagine what it'd be like if you could always hit your peak numbers as well, Graham? If just every time you got on your bike, you were always your absolute best. So you could do your peak five minutes after doing your peak uh, 20 minutes. Your peak sprint could happen whenever you wanted. I imagine that's what it feels like to be Mathieu van der Poel. Right. I'm going to cruise along here and wait for Micah. I'm also going to say goodbye to everyone on YouTube. It's 10 past 7, Wednesday morning, British summertime. There will be a three minute climbing workout. We've done it on a Wednesday evening. I've not adapted it. I felt it was too easy for a Wednesday evening, so we just slotted it in on a Wednesday morning. And then the Wednesday evening session is a rerun of something we did about six weeks ago. It's um, lead out and sprint. It'll be really good. Then Friday morning, back here again. There you go, flat roads, 80 k's an hour into a headwind. You joke about 80k an hour into a headwind, that's what they do when it's a strong tailwind for you know, 10, 15 kilometers on those straight roads in Europe. It's unbelievable how fast that is. Genuine 70, 75, 80 is possible. And it's not a lot of fun when you're in the wheels. Right, YouTube. Wednesday morning, 10 past seven, British summertime. For a Wednesday morning wake up workout. Not too hard, not too easy. Be hard enough for that time of day and it'll have some good work in there. Wednesday evening, much tougher session, Friday morning, weekend tune-up. Today's social session has been good fun. I feel better for doing it. And that's kind of the goal with these sessions. Everyone gets off feeling that little bit better. I'm gonna leave it there for tonight. Joshua, Graham, Carlo, it's been good to have your input. I'll see you all hopefully very soon. I'll be back here at 10 by seven on Wednesday morning. See you all again then, bye.